Hi everyone and welcome back. The other day I had a question from Ken, a viewer to my YouTube channel, who had watched my tool setting video and had wanted to know was it possible to use my tool setter or something similar to it to set the X and Y coordinates against your stock. Well after a little bit of thinking I realised yes it is possible to use my tool setter so I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the tool setter and as you'll remember this clips around your bit and as it comes down and makes contact with the button there the light lights and you know that you are a set distance above the stock in this case 50 millimeters. But one of the other things about this tool setter is that when the cutter or the, the clip lead comes in contact with the metal case of it, the light also lights. So that makes it just ideal for attaching to your cutter, bring the cutter along until it just touches the metal and lights the light. Now there is a specific requirement when using it uh, like that. So here I have my piece of stock that I want to cut something from and I have the infamous parallel rule. The important thing is that either your X or Y axis of your stock is parallel to either the X or Y. So in this case I'm going to set the X parallel to my X axis but like I said, just as it could equally be, I could just set my uh, my Y uh, parallel, and I could do that by just simply setting it along this edge here, which I know this edge of my machine is parallel. And there is a, an important reason for doing that, so I'm just going to clamp my stock in like that, remove the parallel rule. and complete the clamping down. Right, so the first important bit, as I said, is one of your sides has to be parallel to one of the axes. So in this case, it's my X, and what I need, I need to do is I need to line my tool setter up against the one, the side that is parallel. And that's absolutely critical that we get that particular axis set first. Now one of the first things to be considered is the box has to be square. As you can see, mine isn't. Unless your box uh, is nice and square, it will not work to do this alignment. To get around the problem of my box not being square, I'm basically just going to sit it on this piece of angle aluminium here and that gives me a nice square edge here and when the cutter comes in contact with it the light will light. Now as you can see I previously drilled a hole in this board here and I used the tool setting method to originally set the cutter to zero zero on the edge here and then drill this hole at 2020. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to use the same method to reset the cutter to here and if I've got it right the cutter should fit nicely in that hole. So I'm going to start by bringing the cutter in like so and I'm going to clip my lead just onto the clamp that mounts the motor because my uh, router here is all metal I don't I can get away without actually clipping it to the uh, cutter itself I'm next going to take my angled piece of aluminium I'm just going to lower my cutter closer to the stock and I'm going to bring my cutter in to until it just contacts there. I'm now going to 
change the stepping mode of the machine to single step so every time I push the Y button on my controller here it only takes a single step there we go and that there you see the light is lighting now so we'll call that Y0 okay now it's critical that we do not move this cutter away from here and I'll demonstrate why it's important and why it was important that we had this here lined up with the x-axis so I now just bring uh, move the entire setup here the angle aluminium off onto the X side of things and I'm just going to take the cutter across again until it just contacts back a little bit and I'll go single step now slowly bring that cutter in and there we go it's all lit up there and I'll just set X to zero So now the uh, cutter to go to X20, Y20, I should now be able to slowly lower the cutter into that hole and it should align up perfectly. And there it goes there. That's just perfect alignment with that hole. So as you can see, the method works. So now I'll show you why it's important, or demonstrate to you why it's important, and I'll, I'll exaggerate this, why it's important that this here be uh, why we at least have one reference edge that is parallel to one of the x axes. If we line our cutter up with this here and it contacts say here and then we move the cutter across here we've called that Y0 and we come across to here and we call that x0 at this point, that becomes xy0 at this point here. If I put, uh, next time I go to reset this cutter, if I was to put it here, and then run the, call this y0, and move the cutter across here, here's where xy0 ends up. But by always having one of these edges parallel to your axis, it doesn't matter where along here you set that initial point. It will always run out and sit along here. So that's why it's critical that you have this edge, or one, either the X or the Y, parallel to your axis, and you do that particular one first then you'll always get it correct. So what happens if I have my quarter inch cutter here and I want to set it so that the edge of my material is in the center of this bit here? Well I have two options. One is the quarter inch cutter so I can grab a 1 8 inch spacer, put it against the material like this, bring the cutter in when it touches, set that to zero and my cutter will be half on the edge of the material. The second option is that I simply do it as before and bring the cutter up to there but instead of calling this point x0 I call it one eighth of an inch and when I zero the cutter it will go back and sit about here again dead center of the bit. So there are a couple of options there for setting it, depending on what you're uh, trying to achieve. 
but as you can see using this particular method and my little tool setter you can accurately reset your cutter back to a zero zero point as you can see this little tool setter has a few tricks up its sleeves that uh, you may find useful if you decide to build one the critical things are to make sure that the sides of it are 90 degrees if you wish to use it for setting X or Y or simply either sit on a piece of angle aluminium or connect a piece of angle aluminium to it via a, a jack or something of that nature well I hope that's been useful to you and I look forward to catching up with you next time cheers